Hi there, I'm Guy Harvey. Of all the fish I love to paint, the lionfish may be the most notorious. It may appear beautiful and harmless, but in the Atlantic, Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico, it's invasive and a threat to other species. Here's what you need to know, and here's how the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is fighting against this massive problem, and how you can help. Lionfish are native in the Indo-Pacific Ocean, but invasive in the Atlantic Ocean. Invasive species negatively impact ecosystems and or people. How did lionfish end up in the Atlantic Ocean? Imported lionfish from Home Aquaria in Florida were accidentally or intentionally released in state waters in the early 1980s. The first lionfish were reported seen off the coast of Broward County back in 1985. With no natural predators, lionfish multiplied and ate almost anything that would fit into their mouths, preying on more than 100 different species of fish and invertebrates, including groupers and juvenile lobsters. They also eat fish which play key roles in a coral reef ecosystem, like fish which keep other fish clean of parasites and fish that eat algae off the reef. This map shows how lionfish have spread throughout the Western Atlantic the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, becoming the worst marine invasion to date. Here's why they are so successful. Lionfish reach sexual maturity in the first year, and when the water is warm, they can reproduce every two to four days. A single female lionfish can release up to three million eggs per year. You heard that right, three million eggs. Many lionfish eggs don't reach maturity, but egg sacs have the potential to travel for up to 30 days. These invasive creatures also seem to live anywhere there is food. You can find them in low salinity water, estuaries, reefs, mangrove forests, as well as in deep water. This is video from a submarine 500 feet below the surface off the coast of Fort Lauderdale as scientists watch lionfish eat. Lionfish can tolerate water as cold as 50 degrees Fahrenheit. There's one more thing you've probably heard about. Lionfish have venomous spines capable of inflicting a very painful sting. So that's the bad news, but there is also good news. There is no toxin in the meat itself, and lionfish are delicious to eat. The other good news is that here in Florida, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is responsible for leading the fight against lionfish. Since 2013, the FWC has removed regulatory barriers and developed multiple programs to encourage divers to harvest these creatures from Florida waters. Here are some of the exciting programs to help the FWC. There's the Harvest Charter Program, offering cash incentives to charters to conduct lionfish-specific harvesting trips as part of their business. Then there's the Lionfish Challenge, a statewide removal incentive program encouraging recreational and commercial divers to remove lionfish from Florida waters. This annual program takes place from the third weekend of May until Labor Day. Once registered, the harvest and submission of 25 lionfish qualifies participants for a commemorative coin. This coin is valid for one extra spiny lobster each day during the two-day lobster sport season at the end of July. There are also prizes which include dive gear. There's even a lionfish king or queen and a commercial champion for the most lionfish harvested. The challenge begins with the FWC's annual lionfish removal and awareness festival, which takes place the first weekend after Mother's Day. The weekend includes a lionfish tournament and at the festival you'll find lionfish tastings, marine conservation booths, art, and other family-friendly activities. There's also the Lionfish Educational Exhibit Program at facilities across the state of Florida, continuing to increase awareness about lionfish. This program provides financial support for new and upgraded lionfish exhibits in public facilities. Education is critical to help solving one of the largest marine issues we face. Please join us to help get people involved and spread the word. If you want to know more about Lionfish and all of the programs offered by FWC, please visit myfwc.com slash lionfish and fwcreefrangers.com to learn much more. You can also follow us on Facebook at FWC Reef Rangers. As you can see, it'll take a lot of coordinated work to solve the lionfish problem. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is grateful to everyone who is eager to join the fight. 
Thanks for watching, safe diving, and happy lionfish hunting. I'm Guy Harvey, go get them.